Good morning, guys. Got our coffee, got our laptops, and we got SpongeBob. Good start to a Saturday. <laughs> Hello, guys. We decided to go outside because it's such a nice day. It's so nice out here. I'm pretty sure this is the hottest day it's been. Um, in Vancouver. I'm not sure what the weather is today. I know tomorrow it's going to get up to 22 degrees, so definitely winter is gone. Mm. Spring is here. Which is good because we kind of came to Vancouver at the perfect time. I mean, we, we kind of just want to experience the snow, but well, at the we same time, we didn't really pack for it. No. And we did experience it in a Whistler, and yes. now it's going to get like I could probably take this jacket off now. I'm getting pretty hot. Yeah, I'm getting pretty hot as well. Um, yeah, we came outside for a little bit of a walk, a little bit of a browse, mm -hmm. and I think because the weather's going to be so good tomorrow, we definitely should go out somewhere I think like, so like on a train ooh. out to somewhere sounds like you have something in mind but you want to be cryptic to the viewers <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah we'll show you what we end up finding on our little walk Come in the I really oh. like these sunnies but they always give me these indents Ooh, so Am I going to wear sunnies inside and be one of those people? We're in Best Buy's because Stephen's picking up something. I really want a nice camera bag. I really like this. No, oh, that like, I don't really like these ones, but I do like the kind of leathery, leathery look. Ain't that great ones here. I really want one of these. That'd be so cool taking like some travel shots straight on, straight on the Polaroid. I reckon that'd be so cool. Now I'm going to go find Stephen. He gets really nervous still a little bit with um, vlogging in public. But I'm just walking around the shop. Let's find him. He's still in the line. There he is. Stevie. Steven's got his little goodie. Goodie bag. Up there. He's a sucker for technology, ain't you, Steve? <laughs> hey, I thought I'd splurge a little. Just a little. And I was like, oh yeah, we need to get some. And then I was going to say mouthwash. And then she was like, chocolate bar? <laughs> I'm craving a Snickers. I'm a sucker for a Snickers bar. But we, I just love the dollar store. Every, everything is cheap. Like it's you can buy. the same product. Like the Pepsi the Max thing. in there was yeah. three bucks. And, and in the dollar down. store, it's a dollar. And like I was having a look at the chocolate bars and there was like $2.50. In the dollar store, it's 70 cents. So we'd be going to our favorite place. You can just really see the mountains today. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Maybe I should stop walking. See? All surrounding this whole area are big mountains, just like that one. Hmm. We're walking home now after a little one dollar rama sale guys there's like a little kids baseball game going on and then over there there's a band a school band practicing i'm gonna zoom in so american, so american. you can never see that in australia it's just the band practicing for the the weekend and then yeah you got your little little league baseball game going on so cool this is like right near where we live Big park, big Saturday activities and festivities, and a train! I hope you can hear the music, it's very cool. I love, I love Canada. Love you Canada! Okay guys, this is what we got. And it's out of pure first world problems issue. We want to sit here and we want to watch TV. There. We have cable TV, it sucks. The cable TV isn't good and we want to watch shows, but we don't want to put our, plug our Netflix into the TV because we want to use our laptop. So we got this little thing. We meaning Steven. We <laughs> meaning me. Show the case. He got this thing, Chromecast. Which hopefully should let us stream from our iPad to the TV and we can watch like Netflix. And YouTube. And YouTube. But that's it. That's all we need. It's like a little USB you plug in the back of the TV. You want to see now? So it's literally a USB. You if it's going to focus, if it's going to focus. There it goes. Chrome. So I think you plug it into the back of your TV and then you can watch things on Netflix on your iPad and we'll stream it to the TV. So we can both use our laptops when we want to watch stuff. Yeah, because we find like when we're editing the vlog at night and then I have to hit upload. That my laptop is just, you can't touch it. It's out of use. Yeah, it's out of use. We're pretty much trying to balance between being able to watch TV and edit and use our laptops and write posts. I feel like I write better when there's something on in the background. Now we Let's can play our shows. So we just plug it in here. And we'll see what happens. Just realized I totally forgot to tell you guys about the end product. It works. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually watch a couple of movies, but yeah, so we just got our iPad on there and it streams there. So far we watched Enchanted, and now we're watching the new Spy Kids movie. <laughs> what we do we? We just kind of put a playlist of kids movies on. But we are thinking that we will do a Q&A with you guys now. So yeah. we set up the well, camera. Yeah, we told them yesterday we're going to do it. 
<laughs> no, but if they didn't watch yesterday. Oh, true. Yeah, so we'll do the Q&A soon. Make a tea, sit down with the tea, and then we will set up the camera and we'll have a Q&A over tea. Q&A over tea. Hashtag Q&A over tea. Sit for real good. Mm, 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 mm. Are you ready? Alrighty, so... We have got coffee and we decided to do a Q&A. We asked you yesterday with a hashtag this time. Hashtag Ask Lina Nest on Twitter and Facebook. And we are going to answer some of your questions. I'm excited because this round you guys got a bit weird. We like weird questions. We also like questions that aren't so travel related. So you can get to know us more. It's so much in the travel sense, but in the other sense. In the other sense, <laughs> which you'll find out. <laughs> Who's the big spoon? <laughs> Who's the big spoon? Who's the little spoon? What do you reckon? Uh, you're taller than me. You're oh. the big spoon. But it says, do you take turns? Yes, yes we do. I'm oh, nice. Jess is generous. She shares it around. People might not even know what this big spoon, little spoon thing is. My I... parents watch, your parents watch. They're probably like, what is this thing? So it just means that <laughs> when you're lying down, <laughs> people might be like, what is it? What, what did you just ask? Who's the big spoon? Who's the little spoon? And how often? I think... Uh, how often is, what? How often do we take it in turns being the spoon? So, if he's lying down and I'm like this, I'm being the big spoon, okay? And then if I'm lying down and he's like this, then he's the big spoon. Just in case our parents are wondering. We are the same size spoons, so maybe we're the... Maybe we're just two spoons lying there, not spooning at all. Can we not get too deep on this? <laughs> Are you single? I am, thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this was at you. And the next one. And I'm guessing they don't watch the vlogs. Another person asked, how many? How many what? There's how many? Should we decide how many? How many? 16. Three? 16, okay. 16. I was gonna say three. You can interpret it. That's that. a lot. How many? What's your favorite Christmas song? Christmas? This is a bit early for Christmas. Oh, why did you mention this? She's gonna get excited for Christmas now. <laughs> oh, I love Christmas. <laughs> Always gonna say that. Now. What would you um, say? So, my favorite time of year is Christmas, as many of you might know if you watch my other channel. Um, Can we not plug your other <laughs> channel in every single video? Can we just put a hashtag, hey, it's Jess Valentine, just here? Check that out if you wish. Yeah, so my favorite Christmas song, well, I love all the Mariah Carey albums. Um, my favorite song of hers would probably be the, what is it? All I Want For Christmas Is You? All I Want For Christmas Is so Oh yeah, what's favorite your favorite one? one? I don't know, at the moment, or well, last Christmas. Mm, what least... was it last Christmas? What did we listen to a lot? We, we just listen, if we go, we usually go on like little road trips and all we listen to is Christmas music. Big suckers. And we always like to find a new album, and I'm pretty sure last year's album was Seth MacFarlane, as mm. in the guy from Family Guy. Yes, he sings, and yes, his Christmas album was amazing. Yeah. But his cover of Baby It's Cold Outside. Oh, that, that, that's actually one of my favorite Christmas songs as well, yeah. Baby It's Cold Outside. And I also like the Glee version. What's the scariest situation you've both been in whilst traveling? Bungee jumping. Easy. That was the scariest thing I've ever experienced in my life. We had a relationship question. At least someone watches the vlog. Oh, relationship time! Do you like a special effect here where it's like relationship time? Okay. <laughs> I think that's what we're gonna use. As you two are engaged, will you be planning to get married back in Perth or a wedding abroad? Ooh. If abroad, where? Questions! Oh. Well... We have no money to get married. <laughs> no, but when we do get married, to answer your questions, it will be abroad. Someone said, how the hell do you afford all this? Or how the beep do you afford all this? <laughs> Easy uh, to answer. Seeing as okay. we've been traveling together for seven years, you have to work hard, save all your money, and spend it on travel instead of spending it on other stuff. Easy. Boom. That's how we do it. We didn't win the lotto and we didn't get... That'd be so good if we won the lotto right now. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. But yeah, every trip you see us doing, we pay for ourselves and we just worked hard and did it. Boom. That's the last time I'm ever going to answer that question because we get asked that all the time. All the time. And, and I'm pretty sure we did a video on that. Yeah, and literally, the answer is that we worked. We worked. Normal jobs. <laughs> okay, this one's from a shout back to a previous vlog. I'm glad you found the end of Jess's umbrella. I was stressing hard at that episode. It fell off. Look what we found. Jess is nubbin. What brand of umbrella was it? So we, do so I don't buy it. Wait, let me go get the umbrella. Was it? <laughs> All right, here's the umbrella, 
And yes, we recommend don't getting it because it also breaks in the wind. That's it just there. It screws off. Also, it doesn't have a uh, brand. And it also, yeah, it flips up when it's really, really windy. So we don't recommend getting this, whatever it is. Let's put it when are you guys coming back? So when we're going back to Perth? Mm -hmm. So we want to travel for a year. Yep. So that's our end date at the moment. We left February 9th. So we were hoping to return February 9th. Boom. Easy. What's your good and bad traits whilst traveling? So, good, do you want me good. to say yours and you to say mine? Is this another one of these attack no, like, videos? You <laughs> say your my good and my bad, and then I'll say your good and your bad. So your bad is that he's got like a very short temper, but he doesn't get angry, or a short annoying button. Like he gets easily annoyed. Short annoying button. Wait, is that the word? Like, I don't know, who he gets like... Like, I won't grab a bag quick enough. And he'd be like, get the bag! Remember that time? No, I don't remember this time. It was in our lives. And the bag was getting stuck, and you're like, get the bag! But then he apologizes, like, straight after. Because he realizes. But in the moment, he's just like... All right, Jess's bad trait, <laughs> I feel like we're now on the couple show, is she has to get things done right now. So it's like, we need to book accommodation right now. We need to do this right now. Uh -huh. And then if I, like, say, no, let's wait five minutes, <laughs> Boom. She explodes. I've worked it out. If she's just about to put like her last bit of makeup on and then her clothes on, that's it. I've got two minutes to be out of the house. Uh -huh. Otherwise, it's over. Yeah, that's so <laughs> true though. Tell me my good one first. <laughs> <laughs> I think like good as a couple traveling together will be better. Zip it. <laughs> a good trait of us traveling together is we pretty much like the same things. That so is like we can true. both agree. Uh, uh, rarely we disagree on something. Oh yeah, like we always want to usually see the same attractions if we're going to a place. We want to see the same thing. Yeah. Which is very, we have like really similar interests. Oops. Yeah, and if usually like if I have an idea like, oh I want to go here because this movie was shot here. Or I want to go here because this person says it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Someone asked if we've been to the Oregon coast. Nope. Nope. Don't even know where that is. Probably should. <laughs> Probably in the Oregon and near the coast. Hmm. <laughs> A few weeks ago, you had a buttload of meetings in Canada, in Vancouver. What were those meetings? Ah, okay. So I suppose we've done some of them. Yeah, so usually when we have a meeting, it means that we're like organizing with a company who might want to work with us for travel related things. But usually when we have a meeting, we then don't want to tell you what we're doing because we like leaving a surprise. But last week when we went to Whistler, that was one of our meetings. That was so one organizing of the meetings. a Whistler weekend and everything and else you see that's going to happen like any major events that are going to happen, that was from meetings from that day. So, only half of those meetings have happened, the events, so, but we want to keep them a secret. Yeah, we have a, a big events happening a lot in May and June, not so much in April, so you'll see as they come. Yeah. We just finished our Q&A, and then we just realized that I don't think it filmed the whole thing. Yeah, because like what I went think? to hit stop, and then it, was like movies automatically stop, so I'm just importing it quickly to see what questions we missed. We missed, so we'll see. We'll see how many questions it ended up doing. Mm. Mm. That was fun though. I love filming Q and A's. Yeah, I definitely do. And then I wanted to also show you guys something because I forgot to tell them about this. Oh yes. Yeah, like over the weekend when I was in Whistler, a girl that follows me on Instagram was contacted me and they're like, "Hey, I drew you." I was like, "What? You drew me?" And then I had a little look. Her name's Claude underscore Cooper, and. She drew a picture of me. How cool is it? And she even put my little stripy top that I always wear on. And there's her name. Go send us some So drawing. cool. I know, so go find her on Instagram and say, I'm oh, drawing. <laughs> that was really cool. I never really had anything like that before. No, I remember when you saw it in like Starbucks and I like just made your day. Like, I know, really I was like, so what? Cool. It's crazy. <laughs> so much talent, it's so cool. Uh huh. So thank you very much, Claude Cooper. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tomorrow we're going to be going out and exploring some of Vancouver, so make sure you watch tomorrow. Mm, should and be another fun one. If you enjoyed our Attacked by Sea Monsters vlog, then you should enjoy this one because we're going to show you some more of Vancouver. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a good old thumbs up, and we'll see thumbs you guys up. tomorrow. Yeah, and what? if you haven't subscribed, yeah. push mm. that little red button. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up there, down there, wherever it is, hit subscribe. Alright, good night guys, bye! Bye! <gasps>